Hey y'all, it's Kristen, and I have a the rest of my free Amazon haul. I have a, just a few more things of that, and I also have a journal share. The first thing I'd like to show is this ephemera pack from, it's a Tim Holtz ephemera pack. It's a thrift shop. I already had one of these. This is why you should do an inventory of your crap before you go around buying crap because then you end up buying more than one. But I really like this ephemera pack, so it will get used, and it's okay. Then I got this um, die set right here. I had seen some, I don't remember who I saw, um, put these book plates on the front of their journals, but I really liked it a lot, and so I decided to get this. It's kind of expensive. It was $19. Oh, by the way, the ephemera pack was $2.99. This was $19. I did shop around a little bit to make sure I wasn't, you know, getting ripped off or anything, and it was, I mean, the price, it wasn't on sale or anything, but the price was either the same or sometimes a little cheaper, so... This was kind of a good price is what I'm trying to say. I'm having a hard time talking tonight. But anyway, it makes a really big tag and then these book plates. Like I said, it was about $19. And then I got this. Let me make sure I'm in camera because I moved everything around again. I'm telling y'all, I did my redid my lights. I have a few more lamps. I feel like I'm sitting on the face of the sun and I still don't think it's any better. But anyway, we have this Tim Holtz Lost and Found paper stack. It has... 12 by 12, 6 by 6, 2 by 2s, ATCs, and borders in here. I have the 6 by 6 of this pad, and I really liked it a lot, so I decided to get this one. My back fell off, which is a little bit aggravating, but whatever. So anyway, I know everyone has already seen this probably, but just in case someone's watching and hasn't, I thought I'd show. These are the borders, and these are the ATCs. They're double-sided. Some more borders and ATCs. Then you have the two by twos. And then the six by, oops, I moved something here. Okay, six by six. I'm gonna go kind of fast because I still have a journal to show. That is so pretty. All right, and that has how many? 36 sheets in it, and it was $7.49, which I didn't think was a bad price. All right, here's my journal. And this is new for me. Usually I do old books and do hardcover journals. I get the books and, you know, turn them into journals. This is a manila envelope. And I watched, I'm again going to mention Paula Lemon, and I really hope I'm saying her name, her last name right. But she did a tutorial on how to do these manila envelopes and turn them into something that looks like leather. And it kind of feels leathery too. It's really neat. Anyway, she used her Distress Ink Refills, uh, Water, and Mod, Mod Podge. I didn't have refills at the time when I made this, and I used my pads. I will not be doing that again because that was a pain in my butt. It was really hard. Since then, I did get some refills. If you watched one of my hauls, you know that. And I'll be using those from now on because I am going to make some more of these. I really like them. I also did the ribbon uh, binding. If you watched my ribbon binding tutorial, for those of you that did, I did use the uh, flossers, the dental floss things, the threaders, and it did work. It was really kind of difficult to put it through all these pages. It was, yeah, it was kind of difficult. I wanted to say some bad words, but it did work. And, I, you know, if I hadn't had the flossers, I think it would have been much more difficult. So, anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I put some ribbon for the closure. Also, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember, but I said I didn't know if just two holes would work in something that was bigger than say seven inches tall. This is nine inches 
and it does work. So there's that too. I also don't have anything for the um, closure yet because I can't figure out what I want to do. And I will put probably some ribbon there. I'm not sure. On the inside, I just did a simple um, pocket. There's the Martha Stewart edge punch. I've got some lace right there. And then two tags in the pocket. They're the big, bigger tags. And I don't, I'm going to put some twine in those tags. I forgot to do that. And then we have a top tuck right here. This is the a flip side of an envelope. I took the envelope apart. I copied at it. You know how they kind of fall apart when you do that? And it's a letter size envelope. I flipped up the bottom right here and made a pocket. And when I took it apart, I just flipped over one of the flaps and made a top tuck on this side. And this is a uh, journal card from Art Cult. I don't remember, I know the Etsy stores, but I don't remember what's what in here. So I'm going to say right now I have uh, stuff in here from Shabby Cottage Studio, Freeze Art, and Art Cult. And I will list those in the description box along with Paula's channel so you can watch her tutorial if you want to. Um, she, and also she has some really cool journals. I love her journals, so you need to go over there and check her out. Um, this, I put some lace on, on this flip for the top tuck, and this is some pattern paper. And then, like I said, this side is the other part of the envelope. I've got two tags with ribbon and another journal card. And then in this back pocket, I've got just a piece of pattern paper. And this is Kool-Aid guide paper. Thank you very much, Hermelinda. Um, I'm going to put her link in the description box too to her channel because you guys have got to go and check her journals out. They are so beautiful, so colorful, and they're just amazing. You just watch her, her journals, her videos, and they just, I don't know, they make you happy. There, I told her that I love her journals like I love chocolate, and that's a lot, and that is the truth. Anyway, she taught us how to do the Kool-Aid dyeing, and... I did do this, I did the Kool-Aid, and it, I used a cookie sheet, just a regular cookie sheet for this page. And then on this side I've got, I just did the edge punch, and this is a flip out right here. And then this is some more Kool-Aid dyed paper. This is a tag I made with just some ribbon on top with a dolly as a side tuck. And then the dolly's on this side with a journal card and another tag with some ribbon. I was making sure I was in camera because I've moved all around. This is some 28 pound coffee dyed paper. And this, I did use the um, pan that Harmelinda told us to use. And it just made the polka dots on there. Also, I had been doing some coffee dyeing and I decided to do Kool Aid dyeing and I was a dummy and didn't wash my pan. But then, I mean, I got this cool coffee dyed Kool Aid thing going on here and I liked it so I put it in the journal I thought it was kind of cool anyway I've got two tags here with ribbon this is a dolly let me make sure you're seeing this a dolly with two banners a butterfly with some bling and eyelash trim then on this side I've got a, a other side of the dolly with two tags and a journal card and then I did my folding pocket thing again with a journal card and then two more journal cards and these journal cards are so pretty i just love them come in all right make sure i'm not way over i've got a project life card as a tuck spot right there and then two more cards i mean a tag and a journal card this is one of the color splash dollies some more of my coffee Kool-Aid paper. This is a little envelope and I embossed a dragonfly on the front and I've just got a little tab on the back that I just dressed and this is just some thin uh, scrapbook pattern paper that I copied dyed. And then I just put it on a paper clip with some ribbon. This is some of that uh, coffee dyed packing paper, the craft paper. And then here I did just a side tuck with 
pattern paper and then some book page that I distressed. And then, whoops, another journal card. I really like this one a lot, too. And then this is just extra coffee dyed paper. This is one of those, um, what is this? It's a dye. The word dye that I showed you the other day. And I kind when I put it down, it's kind of over to that side. I don't like how it's not centered. It's bugging me. So I'm going to put something right there. But anyway, that's a stamp. And then I just did the corner punch. Like I said, this is just extra coffee paper. Coffee dyed paper is what I meant. Okay. This is another journal card. This is Art Cult. This is from Art Cult on Etsy. And my printer was running out of ink. But I really like how it turned out. The It's a sunflower and it's supposed to be yellow. It turned out pink, but there's yellow lines in there. Hopefully you can see that. But I thought it was cool. And I just made that little top tuck right there. Whoops. And then I've got a belly band right here with pattern paper and book page that I distressed. And see, that's what the sunflower is supposed to look like. It's not the same card. It's a different card. But it was supposed to be yellow. And then I've just got some more pattern paper. Okay, go in. Work fingers. Okay. We have a bag with a couple of more journaling cards. Oh, that's like that. Some more of my coffee Kool-Aid paper. See the polka dots on there? Thank you, Hermelinda, again, if I already said it. Thank you so much for showing us that. Two more tags. It's another color splash doily. I've got a big tag with some ribbon and another journal card. And then I just did this tuck with one of the journal cards. That's the middle of the signature. It's another tuck that I did with two, uh, I die I die cut these on my machine. Does that make sense? Is that how I'm supposed to say that? It's not a paper punch is what I was trying to say. There's some more of that paper. I just think it's cool. Hopefully you guys will agree. Two more cards on the other side of the bag. Did another die with some more journal cards. I like all this color, guys. I'm going to do some more of these journals. I mean, I had color in my other journals, but they were a little more vintage. Look at that parrot. I just love him. And that right there is from Art Cult. And that one too. Isn't that cool? Just put it on with some paper clip and some ribbon. That's some more Kool-Aid paper. Did another one of the folded pockets with a tag, some ribbon, and this one flips out. It's not glued down. And the back's the same as the front. And like I said, I'm going to put some uh, ribbon or something on those tags. But anyway, I left it at plain because I'm kind of like Paula. I like the leather look. I'm, I'm going to do some more and I'll probably put things on the front, but this one I'm just decided to leave plain because I like it. And thank you, Paula, for the tutorial. All right, that's all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I will have a listing in the description box for this journal. It's going to be in my Etsy shop and you can go over and check it out. Thank you guys for watching.